Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about the topic the manage quality process. And today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam or PMP in near future. So let's start for and first of all I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that many videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. And manage quality process was introduced in PMP box 6 project management body of knowledge. This process replaced the perform quality assurance process under the executing process group. Although managed quality is also sometimes called quality assurance, PIMBOK does that too. But managed quality covers a broader area. Like first of all, this process is all about translating the quality management plan into executable quality activities that incorporates the organization's quality policies into the project. This process helps in increasing the probability of meeting the quality objectives as well as identifying ineffective processes and the causes of poor quality. Now if we talk about the inputs for this process, so first input is the uh, project management plan. So project management plan when we talk about uh, the component of project management plan that is an input for this process is the quality management plan which is the output of process per plan quality management. In quality management plan, you find a description of the acceptable levels of project and product quality, how to ensure this level of quality in the deliverables and processes, what to do with non-confirming products including what corrective actions to be to implement. Other inputs are project documents like lesson learned register, quality control measurement, uh, quality matrix, risk report and organizational process assets like the policies, procedures, templates, lesson learns and results from previous audit. Now uh, if we talk about the tools for this process, first tool is the data gathering. Uh, from a basically quality checklist, uh, these verify that a set of required steps have been performed or to see if a list of requirements has been satisfied. These checklists are usually based on the acceptance criteria included in the scope baseline. Then uh, data analysis, then decision making. If there are alternative being discussed, like uh, or then there needs to be a decision making process put into place to decide among those alternatives. Having criteria in place is important to that the various alternatives can be evaluating from to narrow down the alternatives that are the most viable for the project. Okay. Uh, then data representation is also another tool. Other tools are like the audits. Audit is another tool. Audit is basically is a structured independent process used to determine if project activities comply with organizational and project policies, processes, procedures. Okay, then design uh, design forex. This is a set of technical guidelines that may be applied during the design of a product for the optimization of a specific aspect of the design. Okay. Here is the X in basically DFX and it can refer to reliability, safety, usability or any other feature of the design that you want to focus on. Problem solving. Quality assurance and quality improvement requires problem solving where you have to find the cause of the defect, the problem, uh, generate possible solutions, choose one of those uh, solutions and then implement it. Uh, then quality improvement methods. Quality improvements can be based on uh, recommendations from quality control process as an output to the process of quality control quality or they can be uncovered during this process manage quality. No matter where these suggestions for quality management came from methods such as Six Sigma can be used to implement them. Okay. Now the output. Output uh, first is the quality reports. Output. The information contained in the quality reports is to used by the project team in order to take uh, corrective actions either to the processes themselves or to the product. The information may include like the quality management issues, recommendations, recommendation for corrective actions and summary of findings etc. Then a test and evaluation docu uh, uh, documents. These are the documents which are to be used in the in next process of control quality that includes the checklist to make sure that all processes are done correctly, check sheets, requirement traceability matrix etc. 
then change request. As a result of this process, there may be recommendation for changes in the following like project management plan, project documents and project or project management processes. Project management plan updates. Quality measurement plan sometimes rather than uh, confirming the results to the plan, you may find that the plan was unrealistic in which case you may need to modify the agreed upon approach to managing quality based on the actual result like a scope baseline, schedule baseline and the cost baseline specific quality management activities. Project document updates like issue log as a result of the audits done as part of the quality issuance process. New issues may be raised which are recovered recorded in the issue log. Lesson learned register information is added to the register on, challenge, on challenges encountered during this quality management process. Approaches that work well for managing quality. Risk register information on new risk identified during this process are recorded in the risk register to be managed using the risk management process. So friend thank you thanks a lot for uh, watching the video I hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video.